it to the grand finals. Normally you look towards kind of the, the flashy standout players to the grand finals, but here we are. Looking at the item builds, that's where you kind of get started here. Five branches and tangos up against three branches and null talismans. So it's uh, usually an early orb if it can secure your last hit or secure your bottle very quickly, or if you can guarantee a level two very, very quickly. And with the even block, actually, I say, f mm, yeah, slightly better. I don't think it matters as much at this one because even when you're under your tower, you're still not completely invulnerable to harass because of phase shift. So I think this, the block in this matchup matters less than other ones. Don't mind me. Both players go for the orb level one to secure themselves nice. some last hits and. Uh, I think both players also pick up the upper deny early on. Even Orb is so expensive at level 1 though, 150 mana is very significant. For Ferrari especially, the Orb use is good because he's rushing a bottle, whereas S4, I and mean, he may be rushing a bottle anyways, but he probably need, he's bringing Tango's out as it is, so his bottle's coming much later, but Ferrari can expend this mana to get this bottle up as soon as Yeah, well. and you definitely want to use at least one early to start your mana regen ticking. And Ferrari has the creep equilibrium on his slide just ever so slightly at this point. And you'll see a lot of the mid players do this. They run to the left and try not to get it tanked into the tower. Unfortunately, he face shifted, so it will still be at the top of his slide. He gets both last hits anyway, yeah. Ferrari. He's like, I don't care about no tower. I got this. He's 6 and 2 to 3 CS and 2 denies of S4. Great start for Ferrari, and he's already got his bottle en route. It's very impressive how Ferrari managed to stay ahead in last hits even though he has less base damage. Yeah. And uh, it's not even like he had a better, like the block wasn't it? It was just timing of last hits. Like Ferrari obviously known for being a mechanically skilled mid player, but by no means is he outclassing S4 as far as last hits. Well, he also uses orbs more judiciously than S4 does. Ferrari uses it to secure last hits that he wouldn't get normally, that S4 would deny um, in particular, or he uses it to mount increasing pressure on S4. So he will get the rune before, or he will get his bottom before the two minute mark. He knows it's not top. S4 just uses orb that clears Ferrari's way for bottom, but at the same time, S4 will catch up in terms of experience and last sits because of this. Yeah. He actually got a like three last hits in a row under his tower, so not just Ferrari doing a great job lasting out the tower, S4 as well. So he's actually ahead now as far as the denies go on top of the CS, and uh, we'll start pulling ahead here. But the illusion room will quickly change that. Uh, you probably almost want to orbit down ASAP because the Green room pretty much gives you extra damage output when you go for these. Ferrari's a little bit behind in terms of levels though. S4 already with one level waiting, Rift and Ferrari just picking his up yep. a little under three minutes in. How the uh, illusion last scene goes now. There is an orb available for S4. Does have bottle up, which is coming out on the career. And you summon this man. S4 is still getting denies and last hits, even the illusion all there, and that's something which. Ferrari should try and not allow it happen, but it has so far, and as things stand, Ferrari getting pushed back a little bit. Yeah, and S4 threatens an orb right before the courier comes, so he's not at risk of it dying. Either Ferrari Observer Ward, so he'll get some rune here at the top lane. Probably either hold on to the other one, or plop it down to give it high ground vision. No, he's going to plop it down on the courier, so he's going to save it. I'm Probably surprised he didn't... Oh, never mind, he did bottle. Yeah. Good. Almost uh, like the, what we saw in the past was that he'd put it on like on the hill, like just to get vision onto the high ground. But I guess he's looking at this match and saying, "Hey, look, this game's gonna go for a long time. I'll save that 75 gold and use it for the next time I need to see room." Well, he doesn't need it yet because it's not nighttime. Generally, you'll see him place it on the high ground come nighttime. A little bit of orb harass coming out from both, but without high levels of waning rift I, or dream coil up on either side, don't think we'll see a early death. And Ferrari, it, it's just really difficult to get the exact phase shift timing down to actually. It is possible, we've seen it a few times, but it's... You if practice this matchup like a hundred times and you're mm. still not gonna hurt. If he casts it right over you, it's just insanely difficult. Both heroes going down to the bottom, Ferrari's missing out on a lot of experience, and S4 is already far ahead! S4 can just orb to beat him to the rune, he's not gonna go for it though. Wow! He was too low in HP, I guess. He could have just orbed ahead and gone for it. I think he was scared of the waning rift from Ferrari, and... He also doesn't know what rune it is. Like, if he, if he gets a... I don't know, like... A... He, he can't die. He's too far ahead of him. He, he, he can just... He was already, like, maybe, like, 900 range ahead of him. And if S4 just uh, orbs over there and phase shifts at the perfect time, then he can do it. So, S4 choosing to play a little bit conservatively, but this will bring Ferrari back to almost even in terms of CS by the time the efficacy of this regen rune runs out. S4 has to play a little bit safer here. S4 is still getting some denies off. Ferrari not as flawless on his last thing as we've seen in the past as... Uh... 
helping him do the best to put S4 on the back foot here. But a big creep wave coming S4's way, and he's on top by 5 CS regardless. So S4 can just bottle crow. That's the other thing. Uh, we're looking at first to one kill or one tower. You can bottle crow. The only thing that you're not allowed to do here is go and jungle. So you can get any neutral caps being used. But as things stand right now, it's. Uh... Oh, Ferrari trying to get a free orb on S4. Will he get it? No. Is a regen room, so that's free harass. Although it does give S4 a be denied that gets Ferrari zero experience. So. Yeah, Ferrari's missing out on a lot of experience. S4 is six and a half, whereas Ferrari's only five and a half. This is pretty difficult to come back from. I mean, you mentioned earlier, like Puck vs Puck is probably less like less of a matchup where you're trying to rush to get level six compared to like Puck vs Puck. But when it's this big a level advantage, it's a big difference. That couple level of silence is going to matter soon enough, and Ferrari has dumped a couple of his. Uh, hundreds of gold into the Observe rewards too, so he won't have the stats to cope up, cope with a man fight. Magic one coming out now for Ferrari. S4 already has his though. It is nighttime though, which uh, led to S4 not actually getting one charges. You use the orb from the high ground, you're not gonna get charges, and Ferrari knows where the rune is, so S4 is gonna go top check it anyways. He does not have the luxury of the Observe Ward vision that Ferrari doesn't. His room, which honestly is not that good a rune right now. You're not gonna get kills. You want. Probably it's a DD rune. actually probably the worst rune that yeah. he can get. Regen, it wasn't possible. I would say that's not very effective either. But yeah, he can't get a kill. S4 is topped off, almost topped off in terms of HP and has a magic stick to boot. He rune, illusion rune, both would have been better just for the last thing but definitely. In the day, he refills his bottle and denies it from S4. Maybe he can get like a courier snipe with it. That would be pretty big for him, but that's pretty difficult to pull off. <laughs> Made out some aggression here as he orbs way out there. Ooh, attempted waning rift there. I think he would have been okay. He could he could have just invis out. Invisible. Well, Ferrari is level six. S4 is not yet topped off. Oh, I thought he might have gone for a kill attempt there, but not enough levels to deal with S4. He revealed himself, and S4 just immediately continues to last. The last hit is being dominated by S4 as it, as it stands. S4 is dodging orbs, getting last hits. 11 CS ahead and. 14 denies ahead. S4 is crushing right now. But all it takes is one mistake. S4 isn't the most aggressive of players, though. I don't even think he's been on Ferrari's side of the cliff uh, yet this game. And f it's really up to Ferrari to make big plays. S4 can just take it slow and steady and just win by a war of attrition. It's, and it's one of those things we can... It, it's a, like a 10 CS advantage now, but that probably won't necessarily get to become a bigger advantage, assuming Ferrari just plays kind of safe and stable. There isn't... It's not like an SF versus SF where once you're ahead, you stay ahead because you've got more souls, you've got more items to help you out. Puck just can last it using nukes and using bottle throwing to keep staying yourself. We won't see S4 start pulling even further ahead necessarily. Yes, and both of them are going to get the majority of the CS for each wave, and as the game progresses, the gold difference in terms of numbers is going to be the same, but percentage-wise, it's going to start to even out the longer the game goes, and Ferrari picks up a DD rune too, so this will make S4 play on the back for, for a couple of minutes, and both of them, I believe, going for power treads next. S4, he's got level 8, so 3 points in waning rift. As for Ferrari, he's gone for the max illusionary orb, just because he probably realizes he's behind and wants to just catch up on farm right now. Although with that said, we, at Ice Ice Ice, when he was behind, he maxed the Waiting Rift to try and go for a kill, so different ways of playing when you're behind, I guess. Yep, and Ferrari gonna get a lot of denies off the back of that Illusory Orb by S4. He's not actually going for he wants Why not? damage? I'm not sure. Okay, he'll just deny it at the tower. Okay. Missing a few there, some characteristic play from Ferrari perhaps. There. Engine treads, both players sitting on a robot of Magi and Loves of Hay should probably be the next link up for them. There's an actual upgraded career for S4 as for Ferrari. I mean, he's already strapped for gold, being behind, and on top of that, buying Observer Wards. Not even going to upgrade his career. He buys his Gloves of Hay, so we'll have the treads available. Five Magic Sticks on both heroes. I'm surprised Ferrari didn't play on the opposite side of the cliff and uh, try and zone S4 out a little bit with the double damage, but instead choosing to or push it in the tower and give S4 a couple of easy last hits at tower. The CS difference only 11 at this point. It's pretty much, it stayed there for quite some time now. So while two minutes ago that was quite a big lead, currently it's not giving S4 anywhere near as big an advantage as it is. Another rune in 30 seconds time. Ferrari's observer will be expiring eventually, actually getting aggressive on the high ground. Knowing that tower range so perfectly, doesn't get too close that he draws aggro. He draws tower aggro and he's got to use the face. There's a call coming out, S4 goes in for the kill. When your has been used, it's a level 2 here. Neither hero breaking the call, Ferrari getting caught out. First blood goes to the puck of S4, just barely with that last face shift. Had the treads, but it wasn't enough for Ferrari and S4. Comes out on top. 
Yeah, well played by him. And he was on the high ground, so he got like one extra last hit. He also had one more strength in him. He had his own talisman as opposed to Ferrari's two branches. So slight differences. Yeah, he, he just accrued very small advantages throughout the game, and that's for played that very well.